Uh, we're here with Tommy Fury. Firstly, Tommy, how are you and how excited are you about the prospect of playing in front of 75,000 people at Old Trafford? I am very well until he told me that and I can't <laughs> play football. So, uh, no, but all jokes aside, uh, the sun shining, all lovely people here. It's a pleasure to be here. And thank you, Soccer Aid, for having me. What are your football skills like? Are they any good? Uh, oh, I guess you'll have to tune in to find out, but... Yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> what position? We're well, obviously on Sunday. I'm number 10, you. my friend. Number 10? Yeah, I'm coming in for the goals. That's why they put me in here, do you know what I mean? <laughs> put me in the leg power. Yeah, Hit I, the back of the neck. More target man. Target man? Target man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different kind of fitness, isn't it? I've seen a lot of boxers like yeah. puffing after 10 minutes. This kind of fitness where you need to run about for 90 minutes, it's quite tough. To be fair, um, you know, my training that I'm doing at the minute, um, while I'm out of camp, it's a lot of sprint intervals, a lot of sprint work, you know, 40 on, 30 off. So I think my fitness should be absolutely fine. It's just the skills that I'm actually worried about. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Talk to me then. You obviously you put Jake Paul, you put him away. Yeah. What's next then? Looking for another opponent? Rematch yeah, that definitely. One? I mean, I feel like, you know, out of all them you know, non-boxer guys, influencers, whatever you want to call them. I feel like I've got a big tag on my back. Um, but with those sort of fights, you know, anyone's welcome at any time because, you know, they're not... I think I'm just in the right place at the right time. You know, not really tough fights for me. You know, the, the big fights in terms of the crowd and the people and the view figures and stuff. But it's not actually a tough fight. So anywhere, any place, any time. We, we were building up to that fight on yeah. TalkSport, of course. And we were saying how much pressure was on your shoulders because you weren't just fighting for you and your friends and family, but yeah. almost boxing. Yeah. Because if you lost to a YouTuber, yeah. it's like, where does that leave boxing? How much pressure were you under going into that fight? I believe I was under, you know, mass amounts of pressure. Um, I think that was one of the most high pressure situations anyone could ever be in because, like you say, I wasn't fighting for myself. I had a big name myself, um, you know, obviously coming from the Fury family. We're all about fighting. We've done this all our lives. Um, and all the boxers, you know, they was getting sick of these guys coming over and, you know, running the show and stuff like that. So I feel like I had a lot on my shoulders, but at a young age, I went and proved out there that I went to Saudi Arabia. I got the win and, um, you know, that under the lights and under the pressure, I can perform. He, he, he made a lot of noise before the fight, Jake yeah. Paul, talk about calling you out on different social media platforms, on TV, on radio. Have you heard from him since that fight? And has there been any contact since then? Nope, not once. I mean, I think I seen tweet, the tweet the other day that he wants to run it back in a year's time. But as far as I'm concerned, he was meant to be running it back a few months later, like, uh, you know, in the rematch. You know, he's in the middle of the ring saying, oh, I'm, I'm here for the rematch, that'll be my next fight. And then obviously he's gone away, he's watched it and he's thought, maybe I'm not that good yet. <laughs> so, you know, I've not heard nothing yet. He's, uh, he's silent. Who do you want next? Anybody. I mean, KSI's running his mouth at the minute. Mm. Um, Is that know. where you see your career then? More no, sort definitely of... not. No, I believe I've got a few fights left at this, at this level, you know, at this, um, this new market, this new niche. But, you know, after these fights like the KSI's, the Logan Paul's, maybe rematch Jake Paul, then it's on back onto my career of, you know, winning those titles and going down in history because my, my, my vision doesn't change. You know, these fights are lucrative, yes, but the end goal is to be a world champion. Is it hard for you? Because you, you, you say that and, of course, you said you want to be world champions, you yeah. want to be challenging for honours. But when you've got these YouTubers yeah. calling you out and it is an easy night's work for you because you yeah. are the boxer, yeah. is it hard to then put them fights aside and then kick on with your career or do you just keep racking up because they are big money fights at the yeah, end of the day 100% and no because at the end of the day if I wasn't fighting them I'd be fighting a journeyman that I could beat with one hand mm. so at least they're a little bit competitive because they do go in there and wing shots and they're trying to win whereas the journeyman is there purely to survive so either way I'm getting my experience in I'm mm. walking to the ring I'm getting in there and fighting in front of a crowd more experience gained in the bag especially at this level you know th these fights are on the magnitude of a undisputed world title fight they're getting millions of pay-per-view buys yeah. so why would I not gain that experience along with money along the way uh, final question back to soccer aid there's some uh, some big names out there Patrice Ever Robbie Keane Usain Bolt is on his way yes. who are you looking forward to seeing do you get nervous when you see these big superstars um, do you know what it is it's, um, it's definitely you know a pinch yourself moment you know I've been passing the ball with Mo Farah there I remember being you know a young lad Sermo yes <laughs> Sermo. sorry yeah. Sermo Farah yeah. Um, watching him as a kid, you know, when the Olympics and stuff like that, um, Usain Bolt, obviously. So it's just a pleasure to be here, you know, and performing with these guys. It's going to be a great weekend. Good luck, Tom. Thanks Thank for coming. You. Cheers, Tom. Appreciate it. Amazing stuff. Thank man. you. Thank Thanks you. very much. Appreciate